when it comes to telephone calls, nobody is listening to your telephone calls. So that was a lie. 2001. President George W. Bush orders the National Security Agency, or NSA, to begin monitoring the private communications of American citizens without warrants. The warrantless wiretapping program required no approval from courts and allowed agents to listen to international telephone calls and read emails. By 2006, the NSA is secretly collecting the phone records of tens of millions of Americans using data provided by AT&T, Verizon, and others. It is the largest database ever assembled in the world. The goal being to create a database of every call ever made. At the time, this was completely illegal, but no problem. Congress legalized it in 2007 and 2008. The NSA then launches its PRISM program, forcing nine internet service providers to hand over billions of emails to government data farms. To help store all this data, the NSA built a data center in Bluffdale, Utah, costing $1.6 billion. It houses a storage capacity measured in yottabytes, each yottabyte the equivalent of 1 trillion terabytes. To put that into perspective, the entire Library of Congress could fit in just 15 terabytes. The NSA has since logged every phone call ever made in America since 2006. With these records, they're able to learn far more than from just listening to phone calls. Metadata can be very revealing. According to a study published in the British scientific journal Nature, just four data points about the time and location of a phone call can identify the caller 95% of the time. And by using trial adoration, intelligence agencies and law enforcement can now track an individual's location moment to moment. By using cell phone towers, authorities can track the altitude of a person down to the specific floor in a building. There's even software that exploits the cell phone data seeking to predict a person's most likely route. It is extreme big brother. Since 2010, the NSA has applied sophisticated software to create social network diagrams to unlock secrets about regular calls to psychiatrist offices or late night messages to extramarital partners to be exploited for blackmail and espionage. According to documents leaked by Edward Snowden in 2013, the NSA has been using online sexual activity and visits to pornographic websites as vulnerabilities to be exploited. Wherever you are, the NSA's databases store information about your political views, your medical history, your intimate relationships, and your activities online. 